with his recent ninth place, uh, no, not ninth place, seventh. Yeah, he yeah, could. I'm, I'm no, 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 it was ninth. It was ninth. Because him and Nairo had to play to get in the You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. At, are you sure? Yeah, it was I forgot the exact result. Either way, it was a crazy high placing. Yeah. So, you know, he's good. All right, we're seeing. Um, Ooh, he's actually playing my favorite color Chrome, too. This is like the Logitech one, like the CLG. Oh, I, one. I call it. I'm a weave, so I call it the Hatsume Miku. Uh, of course you do. <laughs> of course that's what you call it. I'm a, I'm an adult, so I call it the uh, I call it the CLG, the Logitech, whatever. And Bo, Rock and Wolf, yeah. one of the most popular characters currently right now yeah, at this stage in the uh, meta. One thing we're seeing from Bo compared to the previous two wolves we just saw is that uh, he's very laser heavy. Mm -hmm. Like he got like maybe 30% off of just lasers this game so far. And that's going to be pretty interesting, especially considering he's fighting a character that has no projectiles himself. Yeah, but what Krom does have is he has good ground speed and good air speed. So mm. if he's able to get a jump in, and his jump-ins are good too. So if he's able to jump in, land an aerial, and punish the, the lag on the laser, then that should be um, good for him. He should get a good reward off of that. Absolutely. Just basically playing your classic like 2D fighter like fireball game. And another thing that Krom has, of course, is his disgusting kill power, which we haven't seen too much into play just yet, considering neither of these players have taken a stock just yet. But if Bo continues to do things oh. the way he's doing, just tacking on that damage with the lasers, as that up air is going to be able to take the stock right oh, there. We're seeing, oh, okay. All right. This is the set we're going to play then. Yo, my man's talking okay. trash to uh, Corona oh, for we, me. Oh, he goes back. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah, but a back air. I knew he was going to go for a back air right there. He's definitely going to be able to do it. Unfortunately for him, he just misspaces it slightly. It's going to miss, but the up tilt. Definitely going to be able to do it. Everything Krom has hits like a truck, yeah. and unless your move is a jab. In which case, you know, that won't hit like a truck, but well, everything that's else like will. A, that's still like a, a minivan or something. Yeah, you know, not, not that, the full not semi. Truck. Yeah, and it's definitely not the full semi, you know. Yeah. Four has always lasted for Paramus. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy Chapter 2, sponsored by Ford and Paramus. Sponsored by, sponsored by Ford and Paramus. <laughs> There we go. Back air going to be able to knock Corona off right here. Air dodging back up. He does not want to be caught in a situation with his uppy, but I don't know how much Wolf can really do about that besides, like, run back and shoot a laser to try and intercept the recovery yeah, right there. He Craft could, space, like, down smash? You could, um, maybe down smash. You could also try to space yourself above Krom. So as he's coming up, you might want to spike him or maybe hit him with Nair. Because unlike Ike, he doesn't have a hitbox going up. So yeah. like, you can hit him, like, pretty easily coming up. Exactly. Corona just looking to get some sort of time damage tacked on right, right now. Just enough to be able to get a kill confirmed. Potentially a jab to a back air. He's going for a lot of these empty hops right now. Not even just empty, not even just tomahawks. He's been going for a lot of tomahawks, but he's also just been like empty hopping and just like resetting this, uh, the situation with a tech chase in neutral, which I think Krom has to do to be able to uh, approach, you know, especially if like a wolf is pushing his bow is, is uh, forcing his advantage, you know? So, yeah. It's like a the quick one, two T bag and then back to neutral. <laughs> yeah. Just a quick one, two, T back right there, but the game now completely even. Probably gonna oh, be seeing some lasers okay, coming no, out from okay. Bow right here, then, but the damage is just tacking on. Pre patch, you would have seen an uppy, and that would have been the game. But Absolutely. Now it's like, that doesn't kill first. I mean, he only has one stock. Yeah. So, for Mangu. All right, neutral airing his way in. Yeah, we saw like folks came out to like out the gate swinging, or I guess shooting with his laser, but now like Corona's kind of figured it out, and it seems like has his small lead right now. Oh, Ooh. good down smash, covering the tech roll in and like tech in place. Mm -hmm. And a good wolf is going to know to do that in that situation. Oh, this could be it. Okay, never mind. No. I thought he was going to have to force the side B. No, I actually really like the up B there instead. Like, yeah, just like using great. his air speed to get back to the ledge and then just up being instead because I think he wanted him to uh, side B right there because he was in the perfect position to potentially cover it. Now, both these guys looking for the kill, and Corona yeah, is going to be the one who's going to be able to get it. F tilting him off, taking game one. Mm hmm. Now, your bow. Sorry. Where do I take this prom? That, my friend, is a mystery. A yeah, very good question. That it's, even I can't solve. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Early, early meta, like no one's like labbed out like best stages for matchups. Because that's not something you do by yourself. You just have to play someone on a bunch of different stages to see like where you prefer the matchup. It's it, you know, I mean, there's there's character like counter picks as well. You know. Yeah. I mean, th I mean, there's character stage counter picks as well, but there is also um. What do you call it? There's also uh, player uh, counter picks as well. Yeah. You know, you, if you know that like a certain player doesn't like a certain stage or like their play style doesn't fit it, that's another thing. But I don't know if either of these guys are really thinking about it. You saw they on uh, the previous screen, they actually didn't even use the uh, the stage striking uh, the stage striking yeah, uh, database right there. They didn't even use it. They just decided to run it back to Pokemon. Not sure if either of these guys are thinking about it. They're just thinking like, okay, this is how I have to adjust. I just want a nice neutral stage like Pokemon where I can do that. You know, 
and I'm not trying to think too much ahead. You know, I'm not thinking about the stage right now. Some players don't do that. And I'm apparently that's what that, uh, Bo is doing right now. Surprised that F-Tilt was able to outspace the get-up attack. So good stuff from Bo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good character knowledge right there on the forward smash oh, read. Oh, they're back. This guy <laughs> likes to do it. This guy is a big fan of Lipton. <laughs> Lipton. Bo, sponsored by Lipton. Yeah, because he's definitely giving more tea bags than Lipton's been doing nowadays. Yeah. Uh, anyway. All right, forward air. Mm, there you go. There's jab the jab to the, the back air. Not going to be able to kill yet just yet, though. He was just about a percent or two off. Now you see Corona fishing for it just a little bit. Bo, of course, not going to let him do that. Now, I'm not sure if I like all the buttons that Bo is really pressing right now. I mean, he's getting away with it. Like, he's crossing Corona up when he has to, like, with, like, falling neutral airs and stuff. But, like, I'm not sure how much of that he even has to be really, uh, even really has to be able to do. But I like him at least applying the pressure to make sure he doesn't get forced into, like, a ledge situation again. Like, he just wants to tack on as much damage onto the stock as possible. I just make sure, like... I just make sure he doesn't play too far into advantage to the point where, like, Corona, like, catches him sleeping and then just rocks up and, like, jabs him or, like, F-tilts him or something. But that back air, I think he actually jumped into it. Yeah, he might have. Right there. Yeah, he was able to jump before he hit the blast zone. I'm not sure, you know, how much of that was the knockback or if he did that himself, but either way, he's going to die for it. Ooh, great up smash. Catching the landing, that's going to kill. A little sus the eye coming out from Corona. And Bo up a full stock right now. But do we have Gimps? No, we don't have Gimps. Bo forcing his way back. Oh, right. we got these falling up airs. Ooh, Ooh great parry. Mm -hmm. F-tilt out of shield. Yeah. Out of parry to punish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Corona actually parries a lot. He's definitely like a... He's definitely a parry the platypus. A <laughs> parry the platypus. I stole that joke from Wise Guy, by the way. Shout out to, shout out to Wise Guy. But shout out to Wise Guy. Krom, Krom is definitely a character that benefits a lot from parrying, especially when catching landings, because his hitboxes are just not only huge, but they're just so strong and quick as well. So, you know, if you're able to get those off of a parry, you know, there are just so many more situations Ooh. where Krom is going to be able to open up, but it's not going to matter. Bo's going to take that game with a two stack. Yeah. Two stack. One thing I've kind of noticed is that um, even despite the fact that Krom's like, um, recovery is like his weak spot, as a character, like that's something we haven't really seen Bo like take advantage of. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think Corona has upbeat a ledge like once in this game. He's just been able to drip back and air dodge in a ledge. Has he upbeat at all? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I've seen him upbeat yeah, this entire that's set. That's actually kind of crazy. Mm. Yeah, you know, Krom's just trying to do that move off stage as little as possible because I think people are figuring out how to contest with it. Yeah. And just fight it. You know, like you said, it doesn't have a hitbox coming up. Yeah, you just, so. if you got a good spike, just go where the sword is going to be and just spike him for it. Yeah. Are we going to play this entire set on Stadium? I not surprising. Like it would not surprise me. Oh, I wonder what's not. I can't tell. So. Uh, he banned Battlefield and uh, oh, are we gonna nothing get else. Whoa. I thought it was two bands. Oh, yeah, it just banned. No, I thought it was just one. Oh, it was just one? Yeah, there's five stages. I definitely let, like, Mr. E do two bands <laughs> against me. Why? Bro, he's already, like, an amazing player. <laughs> he just made him better. I... <laughs> he gave him two bands. Wow. It's Mr. E. I was not going to beat him anyway. Oh, come on. Don't think like that. Hey, dude, he beat me worse with his DK. Okay. Uh, anyway, it felt worse. Yeah, well, but whatever. Anyway. Screw Riz. All right. <laughs> oh, poor Riz, man. <laughs> Here we go. Pokemon Stadium. Oh, yeah. I can't do that. Uh, I remember the last game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there you go. Upbeat number one. Yeah. <laughs> upbeat number three. one of the set. Good stuff. The Corona finally using his recovery move. Ooh, and Bo actually trying to catch a roll read or just a dash in or something with that uh, down smash. But the patience from Corona not going to give it to him. Oh, okay, no, he kept a jump. Good job. That's the mix-up with, like, Krom. You air dodge first, and you keep your double jump. <laughs> it's okay, Krom. You're it's forgiven. Okay. You're forgiven. It's okay, young lad. But that first stock is going to go to Bo. In these scenarios, like, I feel like Krona's not really, like... Like, he'll get a... He'll knock uh, Bo off stage, and he's really opting to just try to set up a ledge trap. He's not really, like calling him out for like trying to air dodge the ledge or like to start up his Zuffy or something. But, like Bo's doing a good job of like starting Zuffy really close to the ledge. Yeah, like something like that, I'd try to go out there and hit him. Maybe just one. Back air, not gonna do it. Oh, okay. And that one's gonna do it as well. That sinking back air coming out from Corona. 
difficult. These guys playing the neutral again, tagging on a little more with the laser. Such a wonderful projectile in the neutral, you know, especially against a character like Krom, you know, one... A character with range, but just, you know, with, abs with no projectiles of his own, you know, so... A lot of other, like, players, or not players, a lot of other characters would be able to just, like, you know, retreat back, start tossing some, like, projectiles of their own, you know, like Mario, Pichu, whatever. Any, like, any characters like that, but Krom can't exactly do that, so, you know... You don't want to keep that space, you know? You don't want to be far enough away from Wolf to the point where you can just start doing that and tacking it on again, because even if you parry it, you're not going to be able to get too much of a punish on it unless he starts to approach, which a good Wolf player is not exactly going to do. So I think that's why we see Corona fighting it a lot more close. He's trying to, like, really close that gap yeah. between him and Bo. Like, he's trying to stay close, but... He's trying to stay close, but, like, close... Far enough... Far enough close. I'm, I'm doing a horrible <laughs> job of phrasing this to the point where... He's going to be able to stay safe sword, uh, sword distance away, but not far enough away to the point where he uh, yeah, see, right be able to use that laser. Like That's that. the kind of, like, call out I want him to start doing more. Because, like, he's been double jumping, air dodging the ledge, or up being in, like, the same spot. So you got to catch the double jump. So good stuff there from Corona. Yeah. See, yeah. right there, like, he gets that space again, and he's just going to start tossing the laser a little bit. Corona was doing a good job at forcing his space, but this is where it's rough. Because now, you know, he's at a very high percent. He doesn't want to be... He wants to force his advantage because he has the stock lead. But he also doesn't want to be too close to Wolf this time because then he'll get hit by something like a back air or something. Yeah. But then at the same time, he runs away. He's just going to start shooting lasers again. But at that point, that's where Corona would just have to start shielding. But it's not going to matter. He's already going to lose his second stock. And we are down to an even game. One stock apiece on this final game between these two players right now. Both doing such a wonderful job at playing their characters and just forcing their advantage Ooh. stage. But, ooh, Corona! Good job, and he got up. Landing. He got up. He thought it was over. Just another percent. It probably would have done it. What are you standing up for? They didn't say game. Oh, man. If Bo brings this back. But he's not going to. That time, he was actually on the right side of the uh, stage right there. Not going to be able to kill. My goodness. Oh, okay. He no, probably tried to hit him up. out of up. But he was too close and got clipped. Both these players hyper-focused right now. And that uh, F yeah. definitely going to do it. Corona able to take that game. What a great set coming out from both these yeah, players. Really they both good. fought very hard. Yeah. And I like the adaptation from both players, too. Yeah, you know, the adaptation from both players is just wonderful, considering how, like, you know, neutral heavy the character is. He just He's such a well-rounded character in what he has. So to see him be able to do that right. is just wonderful. So, so we got to hop off right now.